Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk loadouts. We take a look back at some of the most popular loadouts for Season 2 and what's going to happen with them on Season 3 because there will be some balance changes. So let's dive into it. Before we start, make sure you guys enter my Season 3 Battle Pass giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and look for that video for all the information. I will pick six winners in the comments. Also, check out my Twitter for two extra chances to win. Retweet that tweet. The giveaway ends next Saturday, January 18 at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll draw the winners live on the stream. Now, let's check out the loadouts, guys. And we'll start with the S36 loadout because it's kind of popular in ranked multiplayer. Not everyone likes it because it's a bit slow. The mobility is reduced when using LMG. But it's a pretty powerful weapon. It's got very high fire rate. It's got tons of ammo, it's dealing decent damage. With FMJ, you can shoot through walls. Uh, on some maps, it's very awesome. But yeah, once again, it is slow. So depending on the game modes, it's a popular weapon still. And I think this loadout will still be popular in Season 3 because the balance changes are not affecting the S36. Not from what I have read, at least. Blast Vest or Flight Jacket is very, very popular right now. I pretty much use it on all my loadouts. And the thing is, people are using Sparrow a lot, spamming grenades. The Trip Mines are everywhere. And the SMRS also pretty crazy right now. However, the SMRS is getting a pretty big nerf next season. It's going to have a reduced area of damage and it's going to deal less damage to score streaks. Now, we don't know exactly how much. I didn't see stats, but hopefully it will still destroy UAVs and counter UAVs because it's pretty bad if it doesn't, right? So if SMRS doesn't destroy UAVs, I think there's no point playing it at all after the, the nerf. But I think we should still see it if it still destroy UAVs. So you might as well keep using the flag jacket, not just for the trip mines, but also uh, trying to die less to explosives. So for season three, definitely keep one of your five loadouts for a S36. Very good for team that match. I use it on small maps. Like I said, I have a, a whole video just for that loadout. I love it. I like hardline, but I only use it on that loadout. I'm using dead silence on all my other loadouts for real dead silence everywhere. And you guys should use it too. It's so annoying when one of your teammates does not use it in search and destroy and everyone can hear him. It's really annoying. Now, yeah, flight jacket, you can see I also use it on all my loadouts except the sniper loadout. And perk number two now on all my loadouts, I use the same. Toughness is probably the best perk number two, guys. Uh, it's really gonna help you win your fights. When you keep dying and you don't understand why, well, that could be one of the problems because you miss too many shots when you're getting shot at and that's gonna make a huge difference. If you're not using it, you have to try it. So enough about the perks. I think it should stay the same on season three. I don't see why I would change my perks. And then SMRS, like I said, if it's still destroying UAVs, I will probably keep running it. But if not, there's no point running it. Now let's talk about weapons, okay? S36, I think it's pretty clear, will still deserve a spot next season. Now let's talk SMGs, guys, because MSMC is getting a big nerf and it's one of probably the number one loadout right now. The top players are all using MSMC. And yeah, it's the fastest time to kill. It's the most devastating weapon at close range. So the players that like to rush and get in their enemy's face, they will win their gunfights with the MSMC versus ARs or pretty much whatever. And it was pretty obvious MSMC was going to get nerfed sometime, I guess. Like when a weapon is used that much, it means there's a bit of a balance problem, right? And it was not like that in preseason. Players were using more variety of weapons. The AK-74U and the PDW were seeing a lot of action. But right now, it seems nobody is using another SMG. So if the nerf is as bad as we think, probably the MSMC is just going to take the bench for real. Less bullets per mags is pretty crazy. The recall, I think, will be a, a bit worse. So maybe people would just stop using it. Now the big question is, what will be the next king of SMGs? Because SMGs always been a popular option. Now I think it's going to be very close between the PDW and the AKS. AKS on Season 2 was one of the top 5 weapons. A lot of players were using AKS 
In season 3, it seems like it just disappeared for some reason. So maybe it will make a comeback uh, on season 3. And then the PDW has got such a high fire rate. It's got tons of ammo. It's always been a decent choice. And it was like the top weapon in preseason. I think it's been nerfed twice before the global release. That was just a beast. Yeah, some players still use it, although it's been nerfed. And maybe with the MSMC nerf, maybe it's just gonna be the reason you're looking for to go back to PDW. So at this point, I think it's gonna be personal preference. If you like the AKS or the PDW, different fire rate, different damage. But yeah, they both high mobility weapons. SMGs are rushing classes, right? So I expect the rushing loadouts to change maybe from MSMC to PDW or AKS. Now before we move to the ARs, let's talk snipers real quick. I think everyone should have at least one loadout reserved for a sniper loadout. It's always good to have the option depending on the situation. Sometimes it's just to go take revenge and then go back to your other loadout. And then in some maps or some game modes, you like to snipe on defense, on the attack or whatever you like to do. At this point, it's just personal preference, I think. Some guys like the DLQ, some guys prefer the Arctic 50, but they are the best two snipers right now that are seeing the most use in ranked multiplayer. I think nothing's gonna change in Season 3. It's still gonna be the top two snipers. However, the Locust will be more available now because it's gonna be free to play on rank rewards and probably will have a free skin also, uh, probably just for leveling up or something. But at this point, I don't think it's gonna change. The DLQ players will still play DLQ and the Arctic players will still play Arctic. Now let's talk AR. It's the biggest question mark right now. The Type 25 obviously was the number one in Season 2, and the AK-117 was the number one pretty much in Season 1. Now there's been some changes in Season 2, Type 25 came back on top, but it's getting nerfed again, so we are seeing some AR nerfs for Season 3. What is going to happen with the AR slot? if you guys are AR players. We don't have that many options for ARs and we know the AK-47 is getting a small buff. They're gonna reduce the vertical recoil. Now, is it gonna be enough to bring the AK-47 on top? I don't think so because of the fire rate. Like People usually prefer weapons for the high fire rates because it really helps killing and shooting the moving target. Now, AK-47's got great damage, but again, the problem is the fire rate and I don't know if the reduced recoil will be enough to bring it back on top. So what I think is gonna happen is maybe people will just keep playing the Type 25 despite the small balance change or they might move to something else. What other options do we have? I've never been a big fan of the LK24 even after the buff it's got increased fire rate and it's still not good enough. Now the M4 is a great all around weapon, but once again, it's good at everything, but it's not great at anything. The ASM-10, some guys like it, but once again, slow fire rate, low mobility, and maybe BK-57 could see more gameplay after the balance changes. So we'll have to wait a few more weeks to see how the meta will shape up. But like I said, the biggest question mark right now is the AR. So leave me a comment below guys, what AR do you think will be the number one AR in season three? Also, let me know what you think you're going to play next season. But like I said, I don't think there's gonna be that many changes. Probably the biggest change will be the SMG and then second one will be the AR. It's still a question mark. But I think the S36 will still be around and the snipers shouldn't see a big change. So thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and leave me a comment below. Cannot wait to read everything. I'll see you guys later. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.